any child of God, you know every parent wants to take pleasure in the actions and activities of their children. You know what? Your Heavenly Father wants to take pleasure in you, His child, for the things that you do. Now, there are seven ways that God will take pleasure in you. Number one, your prosperity will please God. Psalm 35, verse 27. Yea, let them shout for joy and be glad that favor my righteous cause. Yea, let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified that has pleasure in the prosperity of His servant. Second, our obedience to His divine direction brings Him pleasure. Psalm 103, 21 in the Amplified Bible. Bless, affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, all you His host, you ministers, who do His pleasure. Third, our reverential fear pleases God. Psalm 147, verse 11. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear Him, in those that hope in His mercy. Now listen to the Message Bible of Psalm 147, verse 11. Those who fear God get God's attention. They can depend on His strength. Hallelujah. I love that. Number four. The Lord takes pleasure in the salvation of His children and particularly the meek, the humble. Psalm 149, verse 4. For the Lord taketh pleasure in His people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Number five. I love this one. God takes pleasure in you being one of His heroes. Now, I'm not talking about Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, or any of the Avengers. But you can be a superhero for God. The key is found in Psalm 16, verse 3, and the New Living Translation. The godly people in the land are my true heroes. I take pleasure in them. Living a godly life makes you a hero to the master of the universe. Six, if God takes pleasure in you, you'll have the honor of living with Him in heaven forever. Psalm 1611, and the New Living Translation. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. And number seven, if you want God to take pleasure in you, wake up, get ready, be about His business every day. Proverbs 8.32 and the Message Bible. Now this, this particular scripture could be a teaching in itself, but it's so powerful. Listen to this. So my dear friends, listen carefully. Those who embrace these ways are most blessed. Mark a life of discipline and live wisely. Don't squander your precious life. Bless the man, bless the woman who listens to me, awake and ready for me each morning, alert and responsive as I start my day's work. When you find me, you will find real life to say nothing of God's good pleasure. We're to make the most of every moment of every day. We're to seek His presence. We're to spend time with Him, time in His Word, obey His very instructions. And when we do these things, the Word is very clear. In all seven of these, God will take pleasure in you. Now, I can't think of anything that I'd rather have than God take pleasure in me. Now, listen one more thing to Ecclesiastes 2.24 and the New Living Translation. See, there's going to come a point in your life where you're going to begin to realize, understand, and appreciate the source of real and lasting pleasure. Listen to this. So I decided there is nothing better. This is Ecclesiastes 2.24 and the New Living Translation. So I decided there is nothing better than to enjoy food and drink and find satisfaction in work. Then I realized that these pleasures are from the hand of God. There are things that you can do to give God pleasure, and there are things that God can do and does that will make your life a pleasure to live. And that's what I call some rich thoughts.